Do you know one beautiful thing about fellowship with the Holy Spirit? He's always good at bringing the Word of God to life. That is why you can read the Bible verse today and tomorrow you read it again and you get a different meaning from what you got yesterday. Why? Because the Bible says the Word of God is alive. It is active, always active. Now, this is what the Holy Spirit taught me. I was thinking about how can people deal with evil thoughts? And then the Holy Spirit brought this inspiration to me. He took me straight to the book of John chapter 5. Now, if you Remember in the book of John chapter 5, at the pool of Bethsaida, the Bible says an angel comes once in a season and stirs up the water. And once the water starts tearing up, anyone who jumps into it gets healed, right? Now the Holy Spirit taught me this and he said, for a water to be stirred means there is a spirit around that atmosphere. So for instance, looking at this cup right now, if there is no presence, the water remains still. But when there is a presence, what happens? The water begins to get troubled. And when the water is getting troubled, everything around it begins to also react, right? Now, this is what the Holy Spirit taught me. He said, when evil thoughts start rising within your mind, you should understand that there is an evil presence around you. Now, as a soldier, when you want to shoot your enemy, what do you do? You want to make sure you are shooting exactly where the enemy is. You don't want to shoot your bullet into the thin air, right? So you want to strike the moment you see your enemy. And that's the same thing. When the evil thoughts start rising around you, understand that the presence of the enemy is somewhere hanging. It's a spiritual thing, yeah? You can see with your physical eyes. But as a child of God who is spiritual, you must always discern when that evil presence is around you. And what do you do? Strike immediately with the word of God. Even Jesus himself, he rebuked the devil by the word instantly. The moment the devil said, if you're the son of God, why not turn the stone into bread? And Jesus immediately with the word rebuked him. So that's what you must learn to do as a child of God. Learn to speak out. Most times as children of God, we always want to do it within our mind and within our thought. No, you can't do it. Let your tongue speak out. The Bible says, as a man thinketh in his heart, so he is. So if you continue to allow evil thoughts in your mind, before you know it, you see yourself beginning to act according to what you've thought of. So if you don't want to see yourself acting according to evil thoughts and desires that are arousing in you, you should strike with the word instantly. The Bible says the tongue is a flame of fire. So when you speak out even with your mouth and your tongue proclaims the word of God, you are releasing fire around your atmosphere to consume whatever spirit that is around you. So you must learn to give it hot to the devil so that he can feel the fire that burns within you and this is how you make the devil begin to fear you instead of the other way around i tell you if you do this once twice three times or more and become consistent with it you will always see yourself striking down that enemy who keeps putting evil thoughts in your mind so this is why it is important that every child of god must be consistent with studying the word so that you can know the particular word of god to use to strike the enemy whenever he comes with any kind of thought within your mind i pray for you i pray that the holy spirit of the living god will continue to inspire you with the word of god and teach you the word of god and open your eyes to the realities and the power of the word of god so that at any time at any day you will continue to strike your enemy and keep standing victorious in jesus name Amen. Please like, share, and remain blessed.